Feast in the Middle East. I'm Blanche and today I have a different kind of show in response to a couple of you viewers out there that sent me emails on what do I eat in a day? Especially you, Munya from Canada and Shireen from Florida. So what I eat in a day, well it varies from day to day but a lot of the times I have to be camera ready. Not just for you guys but uh, a lot of you might not know but I have been uh, modeling on and off for the past decade. Um, and it's crazy that I've had two children and yet I still model here and there. But I always, always have to be camera ready. So I always have to be on my A game. I can't really slack off and just like binge on junk for weeks at a time, holidays included. I mean, I remember one holiday I had to uh, host a beauty pageant and I was the primary host so you could see my vlog well, it was like 2016, December of 2016, and I had to fit into a nice dress uh, and I was gonna be in front of a lot of people. And so, you know, there's always kind of that pressure, but I don't take that pressure too seriously because I know that if I eat healthy, I'm going to have great energy, I'm gonna have great skin, I'm gonna be on track with my fitness goals and my appearance, my appearance goals and the way I wanna look. So um, I don't like, totally stressed over. I've been doing this long enough that I kind of know what works for me and what doesn't. So what I'm going to share with you in this video is what does work for me when I really want to be prepared for a shoot or something like that, like a photo shoot, a modeling shoot. Um, how do I eat leading up to that uh, modeling shoot so that I will be on my A game? And it's just the way I eat in general. And I decided to give it a vegan slant because I do have a lot of vegans watching. If you want a non-vegan what I eat in the day, please leave it in the comments. Okay, so when I'm strapped for time and I really need a breakfast that I can eat on the go, I make my favorite avocado hummus sandwiches. And so how do I do this? I first start by taking two pieces of whole grain bread, like sprouted bread usually, and I spread them with my hummus. Now I do have the hummus recipe in my playlist if you wanna learn how to make it. I love hummus in the morning because it's filled with filling fiber and protein and ask any Arab, they eat hummus for breakfast. They love it. Okay, and now we're gonna get to the avocado. So usually I'll have about a half of an avocado with my sandwich for breakfast. And here we go. Oh, this one's kind of icky a little bit. That's okay. We'll just, I'll salvage what I can. That's usually what I do with avocados. I'll salvage what I can and ditch the rest. And I'll just layer it over each sandwich to add some good healthy filling fats. All right, so here we go. And to add the final touch and the brain energizing spice mix zatar, I will sprinkle it over my sandwich just like that. It adds a bit of zing. And like I said, it's great for mental sharpness. That's why we uh, Arabs eat this zatar in the morning. Best to start the day like that. And that's pretty much it for the sandwich, but that's not all. I'm going to make a little side salad and customarily Arabs do like a cucumber tomato salad in the morning. And when I'm rushing, I don't get too fancy. You know, I'll just, just make a quick salad like this. I don't even bother chopping the cherry tomatoes. I love cherry tomatoes because they're sweeter than uh, average tomatoes, at least in my neighborhood. So I'll just leave them whole like this. I'll add a bunch of cucumbers to it. I always love a bit of fresh basil. I love the aroma and the, and the sweet flavor. And I think adding herbs to your food adds more vitamins, more minerals. It certainly can't hurt. A little drizzle of olive oil, usually Palestinian olive oil, and some pink Himalayan salt. And I'll just mix this around just like that. And that is my breakfast. I mean, this is actually very filling and energizing and it's got a bunch of vegetables to start my morning. This is basically my breakfast at around 12.30 in the afternoon. I'm gonna do some more writing, pick up the kids from school, get them ready, and I probably won't be hungry again until probably five or six, I'm thinking. I have a lot to do between now and then. So this is gonna hold me for a while. Mm. One of my favorite lunches is the Buddha bowl because it utilizes any leftover vegetables I have in the house. And for example, today I happen to have some sweet potato and some zucchini. So all I'm going to do is slice the zucchini 
in half like that. So I actually like Japanese sweet potatoes, but they didn't have any in the store, so I'm just using these regular ones. And I chop them up um, in small pieces because they crisp up a little bit more in the oven when I do it that, that way. And it's pretty simple. So I've got my I've got my silicone uh, baking mat, and as you can see, the silicone baking mat is. Um, has been used way too much that's why it's like turning brown I need to get a new one guys so that's okay I mean this is kind of a day in my life so you can see it's not always like perfect and pretty that's for sure and what I do is spray it with uh, olive oil and I don't like uh, the olive oil spray in the store I like to use good quality olive oil so I'll just spray my veggies with this very nice and for my zucchini I like to use the Sea of Herbs Jerusalem Spice Mix, which I order from them all the time. If you guys haven't ordered from Sea of Herbs, it's time you tried it. It's like authentic um, herbs and spices from the Holy Land. Their shop has been around for like 400 years. They know what they're doing. They know their spices. So I use the Jerusalem Spice Mix on this, on the uh, zucchini. And then for the sweeter vegetables, I just kind of like to leave them alone. I'll add some Himalayan pink salt to it. And so that's gonna go in the oven 400 degrees for about 20 minutes. For me, no lunch is ever complete without mushrooms. I'm a mushroomaholic. I eat mushrooms every day. And apparently they help fight cancer, so that's a win-win. And I actually cook them in a vegetable broth because uh, I find that it gives them flavor without having to add extra calories and especially if I want to be camera ready. I love mushrooms because they're really filling without many calories. They actually have protein, which is great for vegans. Did you know that mushrooms have protein? Yes, they do. And I really love the combination of garlic and mushrooms. So I'll just like put some garlic powder and I've got the veggie broth going with the garlic powder and I'm just gonna add a little bit of the pink salt, just a touch. So I'm just gonna keep sauteing this until it's cooked down. And usually I do this while the other veggies are baking up in the oven. While my veggies are still baking in the oven, I'm going to make my dressing for my Buddha bowl. Right here I have some tahini, like maybe about two, three tablespoons that's been thinned out with some water. To that, I'm going to add a squeeze of lemon juice, usually about half a lemon. I really love sour flavors, so you don't have to add as much lemon juice as me. We'll stir that up. I'll add about a teaspoon of honey, because I do like a little bit of sweetness with tahini. Some liquid aminos, you could use coconut aminos. I like Bragg, Bragg's liquid aminos, just a few drops. And some onion powder. I love onion powder. And so stirring that up, thing. And that's it for my tahini dressing. Now is my favorite time. It's time to assemble my bowl. So I've got my roasted vegetables that are right out of the oven, the sweet potatoes. I have the zucchinis here. I usually like to add tomatoes. I love tomatoes. I already had them, but I'm gonna eat them again. These are orange though this time. And I have uh, falafel. Now these falafel, I know they look kind of funky to you. Uh, you could check my falafel recipe in my playlist. Uh, usually I fry them, but I also bake them. I decided to bake them this time just for fun to see how that would turn out. Can't forget the last detail. My garlicky sauteed mushrooms go in right there. And the tahini dressing the sweet and lemony and nutty tahini dressing. So just drizzle it liberally all around your salad, make all the flavors come together. And that's it for my Buddha bowl. Keeps me full for hours. My motto for every day is I have to have at least five different vegetables, all of different colors, just like this. And I love bowls like this because it never gets boring. Usually I'll eat what I make for the family, but when I'm on the go or if I'm going to work and I wanna pack something up, something really nutritious and hearty that'll last me the whole day, this is what I do. And I put it in like a glass container with a snap lid and I'll take that to work. 
At the end of the day, I usually crave something sweet and I was inspired when I went to Greece many years ago. Uh, they always had yogurt with nuts on the menu for dessert. So that inspired me to keep doing that way after I left Greece. And what I have here is a vegan, it's a coconut cream based yogurt. I usually season it with just a touch of cinnamon, like that and a combination of nuts. So here I have slivered almonds and pistachios. So we'll just top that, like that. And my favorite, blueberries, which offer a lot of antioxidants. It's great for the skin. And I just really enjoy eating my blueberries any time of day. It satisfies my sweet tooth. And I'll just eat these remaining ones out of the jar. And that's basically it uh, for my last meal of the day right here. All right guys, this is my quiet time of the day. I finished helping the kids with the homework and um, had a long, long day, but this is how I treat myself at the end of the day. This coconut cream yogurt. Mm. I love how the Greeks, like I went to Greece for my honeymoon. I love how the Greeks just take something simple like that and that's their dessert. It's just so, perfect and so beautiful and I'm doing the vegan version with coconut cream but if you like regular Greek yogurt you could use that too. So that's it for what I eat in a day vegan version Mediterranean style and if you want to see more let me know. I could do a regular Middle Eastern what I eat in a day with like what kind of meat or dairy or whatever I eat. Um, it's really up to you and what you are interested in so leave them in the comments below subscribe and click the little bell next to my name. Until next time, sahteen, and I will enjoy my little treat. Mm.